Welcome to another unboxing video. This week, let's check out the just released ROG Strix Flare 2. It comes in two models, but today I'm gonna focus on the Animate Edition, which has a few extra optional features, which I think you'll really like. For those of you who know or own the original Flare already, the design and layout of the latest version will appear somewhat familiar, yet refreshingly new. If you're seeing a Flare for the first time, it's definitely a premium head turner. In terms of aesthetics, I honestly don't think there's anyone who's gonna walk past this and not take a second look. I mean, it looks so epic and you're left with questions like, what on earth are those LEDs? What do those controls do? And do you need power to light up the detachable wrist rest? This video should hopefully put those questions to rest. All right, let's start with the box. It's pretty big with a fair amount of weight. But I guess it's to be expected when you order the complete package with all the bells and whistles. Inside, you'll find the Flare 2 Animate keyboard, I hope, a detachable wrist rest with a light diffuser, a special ROG keycap puller and switch remover. Yes, you can swap out the switches. More on that in a bit. ROG stickers, quick user's guide, and lastly, the warranty booklet. Now that the keyboard is out of the box and powered up, I'm not sure if a video can do the real thing justice. The anime matrix display is a very bold statement. Each LED is bright and pure white. The aluminium top plate and volume knob feel firm and premium. Just like its predecessor, the MIDI controls in the top left corner so you can leave your right hand on the mouse. The PBT double shot keycaps are more resistant to shine and less noisy. We'll listen to your feedback and made the switcher swappable, letting you change the actuation force or add tactile feedback. You can even mix them up like changing WSD to clicky switches to make them easier to find without looking. Whereas the original flare projected lighting onto the desk from both sides, the flare 2 features one that runs all the way across the front just like the Scope TKL. The difference is that the wrist rest can be used without blocking the front lighting. Instead, the clever design allows light to pass right through it. It's as easy as moving the magnetic light cover from the keyboard to the wrist rest, then pushing them together. Special lighting effects is one of the hallmarks of the Flare series, and the Flare 2 Animate takes it to a new level. With 312 mini LEDs at your disposal, you can create dynamic custom designs by uploading GIF files or pick one from our collection in the content library. The display isn't there just to look pretty. Well, it does look pretty, but it provides visual notifications whenever you adjust the brightness, audio volume, and lets you know which profile you've switched to. The hotkeys for changing the lighting brightness and effects are still in the same place. But this time, adjusting the anime matrix LED brightness and cycling through the various effects just became more intuitive. If you prefer to keep more meaningful info visible at any time, you can set it to show the laptop battery level, email notifications, as well as time and date. By now, you should know that we love customizations. Within Armory Crate, there's a comprehensive editor so you can create advanced animations, select various audio visualizations which react to music and game content, or customize personalized text messages. Another familiar feature in the Flare series is the media controls. Since the whole purpose of placing these controls on the left hand side is to let you access them faster while not losing focus, we refine the experience. The controls are now metal and more intuitive, much like the ones on the steering wheel of a sports car. On the far left, the toggle knob can be flicked up or down quickly to skip tracks without the need for fine motor skills, and thus minimizing room for error. The tactile play and pause button on the side is easier to find without looking. Using the toggle knob as reference, the volume wheel becomes easier to find without losing focus. On the right of the volume wheel, you have instant access to Windows key lock when gaming, and the brightness adjustment button for all the RGB backlit keys. Located in close proximity to the media controls is the USB 2.0 pass-through port, 
in case you want to keep your wireless receiver close. Charge your mobile device or import some files quickly from a flash disk. Ever got that one guy who keeps beating you to the punch by a fraction of a second every time? Well, the Flare 2 might be able to help you with that. The high-speed USB microcontroller reports input up to eight times faster than your average gaming keyboard. In Armored Crate, you can select the polling rate as either 1000, 2000, 4000, or 8000 Hz. This reduces the delay from one millisecond to a mere 0.125 milliseconds. Since the input isn't consistent like a mouse, a higher polling rate doesn't impact the system performance much. Without going into software, there are direct hotkeys as usual to let you switch between six different profiles, as well as on-the-fly macro recording. Almost all the keys can be reprogrammed to be personalized functions. The PushFit switch socket has been in ROG mice for quite a while now, so it's about time ROG started supporting swappable switches in keyboards as well. It doesn't matter anymore if you change preference in switch types, or simply want to try something different. Now you have the freedom to choose, change, or even mix switches. To get you started, we offer ROG NX Red, Brown, and Blue. We have a different video if you want more in-depth info, so do check that out later. Alternatively, you can pick some cherries too. To help you customize your very own unique keyboard, an equally unique tool is included. The special design is handy for swapping out both switches and keycaps. The switch type plays a significant role in terms of feel, but as enthusiasts would tell you, there's more considerations than that. We have considered the considerations to make sure all considerations are considered. Another factor is the keycaps. The Flare 2 Animate comes with PBT Double Shot keycaps for more durability and a premium feel. These are mid-height with shorter stems to reduce wobble. Typically, CoStar or Cherry stabilizers are used. The caveat is that a trade-off always exists between friction and wobble. We've developed our very own stabilizers to deliver both stability and exceptionally smooth keystrokes. Another consideration is undesirable pinging and hollow sound. Inside the keyboard, we have implemented sound dampening foam to improve the acoustics. I certainly hope this keyboard isn't wasted for just office use, but the reduced clickety clack is probably appreciated whatever you're doing. The combination of ROG NX switches, PBT keycaps, special stabilizers, and sound dampening gives a premium experience like never before. Have a quick listen and you just might get an idea. The amount of engineering that went into the Flare 2 has raised the bar for premium gaming keyboards. It's even great if you're working from home. The aesthetics are unlike anything you've seen before. The design and level of visual customization lets you match it perfectly with various types of setups, whether clean, productive, or bold. The Flare 2 Animate takes customization to yet another level. By offering the anime matrix display and giving you the freedom to swap out the mechanical switches for preferred feel and feedback. Beyond the brilliant aesthetics and mechanical engineering, the 8000 Hz polling rate with well laid out controls will let you do what you need to do faster. And of course, looking good while you're doing it. 
We're interested to know how you intend to customize the Anime Matrix display. Let us know.